Good afternoon. Um, those of you that have been asking about my son-in-law, um, I'm at my daughter's actually about five minutes ago. I was talking to her about it, and um, it doesn't look like he got the job. So um, if you can keep in your prayers, she doesn't know what they're going to do because, you know, she's going to have to pay all the bills now. So um, I told her, I said, well, it's looking like we might be going home really soon. You know, I, I'm telling her what's going on, and she asks questions, and I, I tell her, and um, Big possibility, guys. Big possibility. Now, when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Past, present, future. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm talking low. My grandson's taking a nap. Now, some people think, okay, well, I can just go out there and do whatever I want, live my life however I want to, and I'm saying, no, it doesn't work that way. We have repented. It's a change of mind. We live for Christ. We don't put our faith and trust in anything in this world. Don't put, wherever you're listening, don't put your faith and trust in those politicians. Because when they when it's election time, they stand there, vote for me, and I give you this, and I promise you that. You might hear um, neighbors next door getting their lawns done. I'm at my daughter's right now, so you hear noise in the background. It's my neighbors. But, um, yeah, you don't put your faith and trust in these politicians because when they stand there saying, vote for me, I'll give you this, and I'll promise you this and that. When the bombs drop, they're going to protect themselves. They got their underground bunkers that... Well, that's even Bible prophecy. They hide in the caves, they hide in the mountains. Can't escape God's judgment. Put your faith... And trust in Jesus. He sacrificed himself for you. That's how much he loves you. Our Heavenly Father sent his Son, our Savior, as a sacrifice for our sins. He who believeth in me will not perish, but have everlasting life. And we've repented. Change your mind. When the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you're changed. You're different. You look at you look at things differently. This isn't a home. Your sins are washed clean. These, these politicians, when, when the bombs drop, they're going to save them, their own family. Themselves. I can promise you that. Jesus sacrificed himself for you. Now, the closer we get to the rapture, things are going to continually get worse and worse. We know we're about to go home. That's not doom and gloom. That's too, I've been hearing those oh, the comments every now and then. Well, it's doom and gloom, and why do you want to die so bad? It's like, it's not death. It's being raptured to heaven. Because when these things begin to happen... Look up, your redemption draweth nigh. This isn't our home, and this world's wicked, and I, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm so freaking sick of this world. Sorry, that's the neighbors next door getting um, their lawn done. Let me go in another room and see. I don't think it's going to be the same. Okay, one second. Let me see if my grandson's room's quieter. I'm trying to find a quiet room in the house so you guys don't hear the lawn guys next door at my neighbor's house, but I don't think there's a quiet room in the house. Let me go in the toy room. Check my grandson's toy room. Yeah, it's just as loud. I, I, I apologize. I hope that's not bothering you. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean and you will be rapture ready, which is about to happen. Hang in there, family. Things are going to keep getting worse, but we are going home. Gosh, that. All hell is about to break loose. War News 247 is reporting Russian Topol, T O P O L T O P O L M, intercontinental ballistic missile, missile launch, terrorizes Middle East. Moscow shields Iran just before launch of attack on Israel. Wow. Wow. I'm going to pull up a Bible verse real quick. And I'm sorry, I don't have a computer. I'm on my phone. Let's see. I'm 
I'm going to read a little bit from Ezekiel 38. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief priest of Meshach and Tubal, and prophecy against him. And say thus, said the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back, and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horse, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company of bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Down familiar, didn't it? Wow. Intercontinental ballistic missile launch terrorizes the Middle East. Moscow shields Iran just before launch of an attack on Israel. A strong message of Iran's protection. All hell's about to break loose, guys, for real. Now, let me jump on and um, say something real quick. Um, oh, again, I'm sorry about that noise in the background. I've, I've been to every room in the house, and you can still hear it. Yes, there's always been more out there, but as Christians, we can feel that this one's different. A strong message of Iran's protection was sent by Russia a little while ago with the launch of an ICBM to Paul M intercontinental ballistic missile, which was visible throughout the Middle East, causing alarm in several capitals and in CENTCOM. The missile was seen passing through the airspace of Syria, Iraq, and Iran. But this was due to the trajectory of the intercontinental ballistic missile in eastern who? Kazakhstan? I don't know what that name is. It is typical that intercontinent that it is typical that international media spoke of a quote unidentified object which was spotted in Iranian airspace and then over the areas of Dylia D Y D I Y A L A I don't know was set Babel and Sinjar in north northwestern Iraq near the border of Syria. Moscow chose this particular moment a few hours before the attack by Iran to send a message to the U.S. and Israel. Don't react to the upcoming Iranian attack. They got a lot of nerve, man. You know? They got a lot of, a lot of nerve. Because common sense dictates if everybody would just leave Israel alone, there'd be peace out there. Basically, they're saying, we want to destroy Israel and don't you do anything about it. Well, sorry, Charlie. It don't work that way. The apple of God's eye. You don't mess with the apple of God's eye. Look up, family. Look up. Right now. I, I, I'm, I'm getting emotional. Guys, we're about to go home. Israel's surrounded. They got a tweet here on X. Um, they got videos here, too. Um, just a little while ago, the situation became clear as the Russian Ministry of Defense spoke of a successful test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Kapistan Yar, Y-A-R, test site. They're, now, the fact that they're doing this now, in the, I'm going to spell this name out, A-S-T-R-A-K-H-A-N, I have no idea, region, the combat crew of the Strategic Missile Forces successfully launched an intercontinental ballistic missile of a mobile ground launched missile system. The results obtained con the results obtained confirm the high reliability of Russian missiles in ensuring the strategic security of the Russian Federation, the statement said. Russia has reportedly test-fired its Topol ME intercontinental ballistic missile, the ICBM, from the Kapistan Yar test range in southern Russia's, that word, that word I spelled out, I'm not even going to try and pronounce, region. They've done this before. This one's different. They've done this before. This one's different. All hell's about to break loose. So the residents in that area have been posting pictures. There's a lot of pictures here. To note, the missile's trace was visible over Middle Eastern countries, but it didn't actually fly over them. Its target was the Sari, S-A-R-Y, Shagan Range in eastern Kazakhstan. As usual during Russian missile launches. Look up. We might be going home this year, guys. We might be going home this year. We may not be here for the next election. So if there's any more breaking news about this, I'd be back on. I got a very busy day today. Um, I'm going to be watching my little bubby all day and all night. So um, 
very busy. Um, my daughter's here right now, but she has a, um, she's uh, going back to her old job and um, having a surprise birthday party for her boss. So um, got things to do today and um, I might try and go out and do a little Uber. I love you guys and I can't wait to meet you. I mean, thank you doesn't seem like enough for all the prayers and all the help that you guys have given me. I, I'm looking forward to meeting y'all very soon. Brownie table. Some um, sister in Christ left a comment, or it, might have, it was either brother in Christ or sister in Christ. I can't remember. They said, did you say brownie table? I said, yeah. Brownies in heaven? Oh my gosh. No more menopause? Woohoo. <laughs> but most importantly, in the blink of an eye, we are going to be face to face with Jesus. So remember, put on the form of God. Whatever we go through between now and the rapture, just remember. The Holy Spirit's with us and he will get us through. All hell's about to break loose. We can't be here much longer. I love you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you soon.